can't allow this kind of hopelessness to exist in our country. We can't afford to lose a generation of tomorrow's doctors, scientists, and teachers in poverty. When we're losing jobs month after month after month, the fundamentals of our economy are not strong. And it's time we had a president who understands that. I want to move quickly on things that will help the economy create jobs right now. Extending unemployment insurance to help people get back on their feet. American families, since George Bush has been in office, have seen average family incomes go down $2,000. We're going to work with your employer to lower the costs of your premiums by up to $2,500 a year. These leaders will help craft a 21st century economic recovery plan with the goal of creating two and a half million new jobs and strengthening our economy for the future. We've been very, very clear that we will not allow inflation to rise above 2% or less. Imagine a president who was raised like I was by a single mom who had to work and go to school and raise her kids and accept food stamps once in a while. I think it is important for us to send some price signals to change behavior. We are going to have to, uh, I, I think, make some cultural shifts. Tonight, more Americans are out of work, and more are working harder for less. More of you have lost your homes, and even more are watching your home values plummet. Washington is shifting the burden of bad choices, he said, today onto the backs of our children and grandchildren. America has a debt problem and a failure of leadership. Americans deserve better, he said. I therefore intend to oppose the effort to increase America's debt limit. Driving up our national debt from $5 trillion for the first 42 presidents, number 43 added $4 trillion by his lonesome. It's irresponsible. It's unpatriotic. At some point, will you say, wait a minute, we've spent this amount of money we're not seeing the results. We've got to change course dramatically. Yeah. Look, I'm at the start of my administration. One nice thing about uh, uh, the situation I find myself in is that I will be held accountable. Uh, you know, I've got four years. You're and, gonna know quickly how people and, feel about and, and, what's and happening. That's exactly right. And, and you know, a year from now, I think people uh, are gonna see that uh, we're starting to make some progress, but there's still gonna be some pain out there. If I don't have this done in three years, then there's gonna be a one-term proposition.